A Niger mother who watched her son suffer the impacts of neonatal jaundice treatment is using her experience to provide better health care for infants with the condition. After the time in hospital with her child in 2015, she recruited a team of technicians and founded the company which developed the first mobile solar-powered phototherapy jaundice unit in the country. The units use LED lighting instead of fluorescent lights, making the treatment more comfortable for babies. The flap will hinder the baby from falling out. Just Meet Virtue Oboro, a Nigerian mother and founder of a company that makes mobile solar-powered phototherapy units that use lead lighting to treat infants with jaundice. Uh, we also have the mattress. The idea was born out so of a painful experience of watching her newborn suffer for hours during treatment for jaundice in a hospital. John. The fact that there were no available, there was no avail available phototherapy units for my son Tombra to use for treatment to commence for him was also another fear. I mean, there were about five or six phototherapy units there in the hospital, but I think about three were functioning and the other two were bad. Um, the three that were functioning were occupied by other babies on admission, and it was not an easy time for me. She says when her son was finally placed in a unit, her skin was burned by the fluorescent lighting used for the therapy. She then decided to go about manufacturing Nigeria's first lightweight for the therapy units. The open-air crib-like units have found their way to 70 hospitals in Nigeria and Ghana so far. The perception that a lot of doctors and nurses and you know medical experts had was this is not good. It didn't come from one of us, you know. You have to be an expert in this field to come up with something like this. But fortunately for us, we worked, we had a strong team that helped put this together. The innovator says easy mobility helps ensure the units can get to where they are needed on time. They are fitted with detachable light emitting bulbs which burn at lower temperatures. This keeps babies from being dehydrated or burned and change the way neonatal jaundice is treated in Nigeria. So we can actually remove the lights, the LED, and place them over, um, over the incubators, yes. I don't think that would have um, been possible. I don't think that would have been possible if we're still using the fluorescent tubes. So I think it's very, very convenient. It is very mobile, you can move around and I think it's also very simple to use. Although jaundice is easily treated with phototherapy, treatment delays can cause brain damage and even death. The incidence of parents having to bring generators to the hospital or the incidence of um, the hospital not having electricity to power phototherapy units will reduce. So it means that as soon as a baby is diagnosed with jaundice and phototherapy units or phototherapy treatment is recommended and the crib aglow is provided for them, they don't have to bother about electricity. The United Nations says Nigeria accounts for Africa's highest number of newborn deaths, including those from jaundice, with more than 290,000 fatalities annually within the first month of life. The team of innovators hope to reduce the number of cases of infant jaundice deaths. So we make the lights detachable. It is time now for a short break. As we do, we'd like to remind you to visit our website, channelcv.com, for news and other programming around the globe. You can also find us at youtube.com forward slash channels web. Still to come, it's an unsafe world for many albinos, and Malawi is doing something about it, distributing personal security alarms to people who fear violence. Will this prevent the attacks? That story when we return.